the big winner who has sent in her report every single week, been involved in every single teleconference and had amazing results is Linda Tanija from Soul Design. Yay, well Yay. done, thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> Linda. Look, I am just astounded at what Linda has achieved. I'm going to let her tell you her results because I just think she has done amazing um, and this is why she's won. So, Linda, please share with us what you've achieved in the six weeks. Okay, I've actually achieved a lot more than what I ever anticipated I could achieve, which is... Thanks to this challenge, Caroline, so I really, really appreciate it. My main objective was to increase my revenue, and I put a goal there, and I didn't only achieve that, but I actually achieved 95% above my aim, which I think wow. is amazing. The other thing that I wanted to do was, uh, being a new business in Sydney, I wanted to make people more aware of the business, and get out there basically and, and have the name put in front of them. So in doing that, I increased my database by 175%. I originally, before the challenge, I had about 200 interior designers on my database who I was sending newsletters to, and I've increased that to 550 and I've now revamped the newsletter so that it's got in interesting information in it and uh, leads for, for other businesses and that sort of thing just to try and spur some, uh, some extra interest. And I've also identified a strong market potential which has achieved 50% of the revenue that I've achieved. I, I actually had a certain market, so mainly the interior designers and the shops throughout Australia. However, it hasn't brought me the, the results that I was expecting, so I've now gone direct as well, and that's what I've been concentrating my efforts on, and, and um, that's actually been half the, half the revenue that I've brought in as part of this challenge. That's how that's been achieved. My face-to-face -face networking for the period, when I counted it up, was over 120 people. <coughs> And I've increased the awareness of soul design over the challenge pe period by 188%. So as I was reaching about 200 people earlier, I'm now, now in the last sort of month and a half, 1,300 people have had soul design put in front of them. And, and that's at various events that I've been to, networking, I've done a lot of networking obviously, so that's been fantastic. And one of the things too that I got from the marketing workshop was to try and work out ways of creatively marketing, marketing without the cost involved, because that was a major difficulty for me, is that being a new business, I haven't had much in the way of funds available to now leaving. do the marketing. So during the marketing challenge, my cost, my marketing cost has actually equated to 5% of my revenue achieved, whereas before my advertising costs were exceeding my revenue. My aim was to create three opportunities resulting in one sale as an extra revenue exercise and I actually achieved 15 sales. Um, with four of these being strong opportunities for further sales. Mm. Well, I, I think what I really liked about Linda's too was she's very, I mean, for a new business, just really being very numbers focused. I mean, to go from only getting in front of 200 people to over 1,300 people in that period of time is just incredible. And it really is a numbers game. And every time we do these things, we need to bring it back to the number of people we're getting in front of what's generated into leads and then what's generated into conversions. And it is a numbers game. So I think Linda's really done amazingly in, in setting objectives but also measuring the response. And to also bring that revenue in is, is, is fantastic. So... So congratulations, Linda. Congratulations to everybody and thank you so much for your involvement.